electromagnetic. Whoa! <gasps> no! He's gonna kill him! Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We are reacting to the final episode of Kaiju number 8, mm -hmm. season 1. Mm -hmm. What do you think will happen? I think Kafka will regain control in the very last minute, but there will be a lot of damage. Yes. Fear, and it's going to be catastrophic. But let's see. On another note, we also saw that season two was announced already, and there is a teaser. We're going to react to that as well, separately. But for now, let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. At the gym. Show us what's going on in the command center. Of course he's worried about the old dude. Mm. I think he would stay for forever with him now because he saved his life in the what was it, second episode? First episode, I don't remember. Today is the day. Well, I guess it's right now. Yes. It's Friday, you know. Uh, could you imagine them watching on a screen or something? Examining. This is crazy. Examining. What? What? These guys are rude. I wonder if she hears this. Let's go, Kafka. Wow. Wow, but he's quite as well. Like, like wow. Now is that? Oof. Wow. You need to be like a kaiju. This is crazy. Interesting, so he can do this crazy stuff, but he's never done it before because he always be behaved like a human, you know? Yeah. Oh, here you go. He's announcing his attack. Wow. Ooh. What? what? No. No. Wow. How? How is he doing that? That was crazy. They're gonna destroy the whole thing. No. Look at this. Really? What? So weird though. Wow. It looked, it looked like he almost killed him I was last, gonna say last episode. Yeah. He's not going to survive that. <gasps> this is crazy. He's become huge. Oof. No, he's... Oh no. And Red. Can they get him out of that room if he has to? Oh no. This is crazy. But why also can he not start? somehow talk to that? Um... Wow, this looks incredible. And the music, no? Wow. It's like a electromagnetic. Whoa! <gasps> no! He's gonna kill him! He's gonna kill him. Oh no. He needs to take control again. No, you can't. Oh, 
Wow, they've done such a good job. How is he gonna survive that? Oh my gosh. Is she gonna kill him? She's gonna go inside, wait for it. This is crazy. How is... What is going on? The thing is trying to eat him, so it takes fully control? Maybe. Crazy. This better not be the end. Oh no. Because now before it was almost like the kaiju was inside him. But now he's inside the kaiju. It's like he's caged. Yeah. Lost or something. No. Oh, this is crazy. Who's grabbing him? His younger self, maybe. Her. Her younger self. <sighs> Is that his? Did he punch himself? He did! Ah, oh, there he is. Crazy. But what does that mean? He hit his own core? Who's this? Narumi. Sote Ijo da Tano Mito Mirugana. Iliohan. Sibuni Hachio Shuyo Shiro. Kakuga Sancho Shiro Kano Segar. Shinomi a Chokan Yuru Kenbun was Shuyo Shiro. Shimi a new Taishke no Tokara Hibi no Kafka or Mitail. Sakini Teokto.我々の結論はほぼ出ている。君の報告は手続き上の段取りに過ぎない。君が今回の処分結果に責任を感じてしまうのは我々の本意ではない。Yes. Which isn't a benefit. That's the good thing. Use his powers exactly. to help them. Wow. Dark and Kaiju Kaiju No, actually he hasn't cheated. Kareba Hito Aww. They were like so close, right? I mean, they were kids, but still. So they were Kokorodato. What does she was singing? Gokorodato, Ashiro Taicho. He's uh, making the final decision.
生きてる目覚めたかし篠宮長官危害を加えるつもりはないよかった Do you think they removed the core or something? How though? Interesting. I was a human being. 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 He's talking too much. You're a human being. But... What do you think of it? Huh? The human being is the human being. I'm not going to be able to use the human being. He is a weapon. And now, and now the problem is he might lose control. Like, now th this happened the first time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What happened with number six? Oh, Jesus. Probation. He's like, prove me. No. Oh, look at her. She's happy. Mm. I, let's see if she's going to be upset with him. Yeah. Oh, she's happy. See, that she can't be entirely and happy. She, she's probably the only one out of all the other ones, obviously, that knows about this. Mm. That he lost control. Maybe. <laughs> Good news. Look at them. Yes, that's true. But it's going to be difficult. Oh no, are we gonna... It is number nine, yes. こんなものか。人間の機能の程度はだいたいわかったよ。機能構造はだいたいハークしたよ。Someone is sitting, standing there. Another kaiju? They want to bring him back. Oh! <laughs> Crazy. What do you think? Wow. I mean, for a second it looked like... He's gonna kill him. Kafka was gonna kill. But well, the kaiju was gonna kill Kafka. Stopped yeah. it. Yeah, it looked like he lost control. Complete control. Yes. <clears throat> they showed how the kaiju, the parasite, like mm -hmm. what ate him, mm. right? And he was just like drowning, floating obviously. around. Yeah. But yeah, that was crazy. I thought so too. I was like, what does it mean? You know, like almost like he was he, he was disappearing into this abyss, you know, into darkness. Drowning. He was like losing himself. Exactly, and I mean Shinomiya. He, he, I mean the the general Shinomiya. He, he just sat there, accepting his fate in a way. You know, being like, oh no, this didn't work on his plan. <laughs> and then Kikuro up there was like, uh, she was gonna say, I have to stop you. What I also thought was interesting was that we saw such different fighting style, mm -hmm. right? Because. There was this scene where, where, where the general punched him, but then the core appeared from behind him. Yeah. And then the kaiju appears, kaiju number eight appears and attacks. And it's like, wait, what? 
Yeah, so he basically left his core behind, right? And then the body was punched, right? Flew away. Yeah. And then obviously he he Mater regenerated from the core again. It's crazy. But that like that's such a risky move. But also to, to leave the core behind, right? But the core was but the core was invisible, you know? So it was it was camouflaged. Yeah. But then also the other the other thing where he punches him and then he's like, Oh and then the journal says, Oh, he's not fighting like a human, he fight he fights like an animal. He leaves his back open or his side open yeah but then he twists his body 24 like um 360 and you're like um that's not what kafka was doing <laughs> so clearly you can see kaijan break can do crazy stuff to the point even where they said oh this hole can withstand up to fortitude 10 we are reaching like we're reaching yeah. the max capacity and also he kept changing colors yeah like he turned red at some point and became bigger but maybe also there's a good side to this because he now saw what he could do what his the body can do and like which other attacks he can use right so maybe he can next time he can use them himself mm, when it comes to bigger enemies yeah. and stronger stronger enemies um i also thought it was interesting to see how they depicted it you know how they made it look that kaiju number eight is fighting the general but actually it's fighting kaiju number two yeah you know, they, they, cool. they kept showing kaiju number two or kaiju number two was appearing as he was doing these attacks so that looked really cool again you know the art style is amazing i also thought i think it was relatively at the beginning there was a scene where he punches or something and then there's kaiju number two and like a beam and then it was just this romantic music and it was almost like a um, like a sound trip or something and you just sat there and you're like this is haunting, romantic, catastrophic, all at the same time. Was... Even the even the scene where he floats into the abyss, I thought that's quite romantic, actually. You know, if you think about the bigger about the bigger picture, and if, you know, you look further into it, it's it's almost like a like a poetic meaning. You know, he he, he drowns within himself. You know, yeah. Um, and then Mina was invited, but they're like, uh, you were invited, but you can't <laughs> sit." We don't really care what you say. Like we don't care about yes. your opinion. We just you just here to just, report. Just you know? talk. Yeah. Um, but then she she had a very fair point, especially when they said, "Oh, we can't have a kaiju fighting alongside us," and it's like, "Uh, he's been fighting alongside you for a while now." Yeah, they're kind of scared because they're like, yeah. "Oh, we never had this before." Yeah. Right? Um. But it was interesting to see as well, like during the fight, obviously, then that they realized the general was actually not trying to kill Kafka. Yeah. He was just like going all out to see what. But Kafka at the same do. time, he wanted to see, like, can he control himself? I right? see. It, I, I'm not. How, can, how far can I push him? Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe yes, but also the general was like almost. Like, he almost killed him. Like, he was literally just punching one limb off after the other. Um, so, yeah. See, I would have actually expected, or I predicted, oh, Kafka's going to break that room. Kafka's going to break that hole, and then is going to get involved. But that didn't happen. But then the, there was this other character that they showed us, this other captain mm -hmm. with that um, huge sword, spear kind end, of weapon. Yeah. Yes. And then he was uh, ready to kill him. He was ready to behead him. And then <laughs> the, the channel was like, ah, uh, stop. Yeah. I also thought it was interesting how Kafka managed to stop it, right? Where he just literally punched, punched himself into the chest, which is, you know, the right thing to do yeah. with the core. But, but then I, we see him later, obviously, in, in the hospital or whatever. Yes. And he still has his wound. Yes. So like he hasn't he regenerated, recovered, you know? So is that a, like a permanent damage? Mm. Did he damage the core somehow? Mm. But I guess if the core is not fully destroyed, I guess the core itself can regenerate as well. You know what it was also what I thought was interesting? It's a kaiju body, but he's still bleeding. Right? The blood's red. Mm. Right? When he punched himself, that was red blood. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. Um but also, like, I want to know at this point as well, obviously he has this worm, this parasite inside, inside him, right? And then he can turn into a kaiju. Does that mean that all the other kaijus also have, like, this kind of parasite inside them? I don't know. 
Maybe those are the kaijus, you know, they're actually parasites taking over human bodies and that's how they then turn into the bigger kaijus. See, they're not telling us a lot about where are the kaijus coming from, yeah. why are they here, why do they want to destroy humanity or the planet, you know, um, and who started it, you know, was it maybe the humans who started it and the kaijus are just defending themselves or is it the kaijus who started it, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, you know what I was also thought it was funny, the scene, the moment where obviously they're asking for Mina to report and give her testimony, but then she talks so stoked and then she says, oh, he has, um, he's the most human mm -hmm. and that's because he has a heart. And then everybody in the room was like, <gasps> and it's like, well, you clearly didn't see the x-ray because according to the x-ray, he, actually doesn't, he have a doesn't have a heart, he has a core. Yeah. Uh, but then, long story short, he passes because the general says something very interesting. He says, you know, we faced a lot of very strong kaijus. Um, number six caused a lot of damage. So number six killed 200 officers and mm -hmm. three captains. And he said, we're seeing more and more daikaiju. Yeah. We need to adjust. And he made a very valid point. Yes, we could turn him into a weapon. But we don't know if we can unleash this level of strength. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? And it looks like the weapons they've had, for example, when they were fighting Kaiju number six, weren't even strong enough, you know? Um, and even now, we saw Kaiju number 10. Yes, they finished Kaiju number 10, but if Kafka would have not destroyed the bomb, the whole division would have yeah, been destroyed. Exactly. So. Kaiju number 10 would have potentially destroyed another whole division, you know? So the general is very strategic and he's like, you know, this is a risk, but a risk worth taking. Yeah. But, but I, yeah, it, it, it does look like he needs to prove himself. You know, yes, he did prove himself now. They're letting him live, but he needs to prove himself again. And I guess this looks like a um, thingy, like a... Um, yeah, I mean, what I just say, like a they, uh, they're just using him. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah, he's a weapon for As them. A, a living weapon. Yeah, yeah. It's not like they like him or anything. And uh, but then who knows what happens? Like at some point, should he lose control again? Mm. I don't think they will hesitate and do to it. Then kill him. kill him. You know. I'm into minds about it, so I could see it happen again. But I'm leaning more towards it will not happen again unless he is threatened, like he was here. Right. And like we said last time, like I said last time, the kaiju within him took over because Kafka wasn't willing to fight the general nor yeah. kaiju number two. And kaiju number eight realized I need to take over because the, ho uh, the host, Kafka the host, will, you know, and that's when the parasite took control. It might happen again, you know, we never know. Yeah. But then they all receive a message. They're all super happy. Um, especially we know. Especially we know. We also see Captain uh, Hoshina talk about how, you know, this is only the beginning. The real work starts now. He needs to prove himself, especially if it gets out. Um, and then at the end, we see Kaiju number nine, yes. fully regenerated, researching um, and getting ready to strike again. Yeah, it's like researching humans yes. and like their intelligence right yeah but then was there another kaiju it in the room looked like someone was standing behind him like he, it looked like he sat i don't know that's what it looked like at yeah. least and then yeah. there was someone already so who knows maybe i'm it's... sure there, i'm sure there's a lot yeah. more kaiju but then he also said oh so. i've analyzed the base and i know the full layout of the base yes so for what we know he could also infiltrate it himself you know yeah because obviously he can turn he can into change a human, a human. Right, so this was Kaiju number eight, season one. Really good anime. Yeah, I loved it. I mean, as we always said it, you know, like there was a really good mix of like action, mm. fighting, and then this kind of like humor, humor, but not too much. No, but we also really, I, I really care for Kafka. I don't know about you, but I really care. Like the, even the scene where, where they were showing both of them as children and he goes and takes her hand. And then she turns around and looks at him and you can see how he's just, he looks upset and he just cries. I was just tearing up. Like every time I see him cry, I'm ready to cry with him. 
Yeah, because he's like a good pal that you want to look after, you know. Yeah, he's Especially, very lovable. You no, know, and they're all making fun of him. You know, he's like the old dude. Nina even said it. Oh, within the defense force, he's actually the oldest. You know, so it's. I feel for him, especially when she said, "Oh, he he applied twelve times." <laughs> wow, bless him. But that's the thing that she said. Like he doesn't give up. If you think about it, he's applied twelve times. Does it mean he's applied? He's been applying since he's eighteen, because he's thirty, no? Yeah. Wow. He doesn't give up. Wow. Yeah, I loved it as well. Really, really good anime. Uh, probably one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Uh-huh. Be- pretty much what you said. You know, it's, it's the mix of things. It's the humor and the fighting and the art style and the music. And it's they've done a really good job. So super excited that they announced season two already. Yes, teaser trailer. We'll dive in and check it out. Thank you all for being here. If you're not subscribed, please dive right in and subscribe. And we will see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.